Chapter 5 The Northern Plain Region Central, Delta and Eastern We will study the following points in this chapter. Physiography Climate Soils Natural Vegetation Population and Settlement Economic Development which includes Agriculture Mining Industries Transportation Delta Region Eastern Plain Natural Hazards and Environmental Problems Five point one Central Plain Introduction Central Plains are situated between the Himalayas in the north and the Peninsular Plateau in the south. It forms a one thousand fifty kilometer long east west corridor. The plain is broad in the west and narrow towards the east. The Ganga Plain has been the hub of Indian culture. Ancient and sacred cities like Haridwar, Mathura, Prayag, Kashi and Gaya have inspired and nurtured Hindu sages and philosophers. The plain is drained by the Ganga and its tributaries. The central plain region divided into following subdivisions. The upper Ganga plain, the middle Ganga plain, the lower Ganga plain. Five point one point one Physiography The Central Plain is the world's most extensive plain of uninterrupted alluvium formed by the deposition of silt by numerous rivers. The major rivers in this region are the Ganga, Yamuna, Chambal, Gomati, Ghagra, and Kosi. The plains are flat making it conducive for irrigation through canals. The area is also rich in groundwater reserves. The main crops grown here are rice and wheat. Other important crops grown in the region include maize, sugarcane and cotton. The upper Ganga plain extends average 550 kilometers long and average 380 kilometers wide. It is located in western Uttar Pradesh. The low-lying flood zone of the rivers in the upper Ganga plain is known as Khadar which has newer alluvial while the uplands are called the Bhangar which have older alluvial. About 30 kilometers wide the Bhabar belt that lies to the south of the Shivalik range has a dominance of boulders, gravels and sand. The rivers descending from the Himalayan slopes disappear in this belt and reappear in the Tarai belt that is located to the south of Bhabar. The Tarai is a marshy land. The middle Ganga plain extends average 600 kilometers long and average 330 kilometers wide. It is located in the eastern Uttar Pradesh and Bihar has a unique homogeneous physiography. This region is less elevated from the sea level. The fluvial landscape is characterized by natural leaves, meanders and oxbow lakes etc along the river valleys. The lower Ganga plain located in the West Bengal, the plain has a very low relief. The foothills of Jalbaiguri and Darjeeling districts are called the Duas. The Duas are the flood plains and foothills of the eastern Himalayas in the northeast India around Bhutan. 
The word Dwar means door as the region forms the gateway to Bhutan from India. The plain is drained by the Ganga which receives the Ghagra, Gandak and Kosi, the left bank tributaries. The upper Ganga plain has a low gradient and slopes from northwest to southwest. The Ganga and its tributaries Yamuna, Ram Ganga, Ghagra, Kosi and Gomti rising in the Himalayas are perennial. Chambal River rises in the peninsular plateau and joins the Yamuna River. In the middle Ganga plain, the rivers flowing gently make several meanders and oxbow lakes in the plain. The Sun, Kosi and Ghagra are notorious for the havoc of floods and frequent changes in their courses. The Sun is one of the major tributaries of the Ganga originating from the peninsula plateau. The lower Ganga plain is drained by the Ganga, Brahmaputra and Suvarnarekha rivers. Damodha joins the Ganga, Hooghly system in the deltaic section of the Ganga. Five point one point two climate. The entire plain experiences typical monsoon climate characterized by seasons like summer, rainy, autumn, and winter. In the upper Ganga plain, temperature starts rising in the month of February and reaches forty eight degrees Celsius in May and June. Atmospheric humidity dips to less than 40%. The hot loo during the summer season is unbearable. The southwest monsoon commences in June in the eastern part that is Bengal region. The rainfall decreases towards the west. Most of the rainfall comes from the Bay of Bengal branch of the monsoon. After the monsoon rains, dry and cold breeze starts blowing. By December, winter sets in and the mean minimum temperature in January falls to 4 degrees Celsius. The Middle Ganga Plain is a traditional zone. The mean temperature of this region is 30 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius. The monsoon sets in by mid-June in Bihar. The region receives 90% rainfall from the Bay of Bengal branch of the monsoon from June to September. Relatively humidity remains more than 70%. The winter sets in November. The minimum temperature falls to 4 degrees Celsius. The lower Ganga plain experiences a hot and humid climate. The climate of this region is influenced by the Himalayas in the north, Bay of Bengal in the south and the Meghalaya plateau in the east. The minimum temperature in January is recorded as 2 degrees Celsius at Jalpaiguri and 17 degrees Celsius in central West Bengal region. The temperature starts rising in March. The temperature increases up to 33 degrees Celsius in the month of May. Heavy pre-monsoon rain occurs with the thunderstorms. It is known as Kal Baisakhi. It play havoc with life and property in the region. It rains heavily from June to October. Five point one point three soils. Throughout the region, alluvial soil is found. 
In the Upper Ganga Plains, the Bhabar tract has sand and gravel while the Tarai has sandy clay with humus and moisture. The new alluvial soil of the Khadar are highly alkaline but lack in humus. The older alluvial soil of the Bangar are mature but lack salt, lime and alkalinity. The Middle Ganga Plain has immature alluvial soils. A poor drainage causes accumulation of sodium salts that renders the soil infertile. The soils generally lack nitrogen and need manure and fertilizers. The Lower Ganga Plain consists of laterite, red and alluvial type of soils. Laterite soils exist in the southwestern part and are acidic and lack humus content. Red soils are acidic and deficient in humus content. Tarai soils also lack humus content. Alluvial soils are found extensively and are rich in humus and alkalinity. Five point one point four Natural Vegetation The Upper Ganga Plain was earlier covered by forest. With the expansion of agriculture and human settlement, the area under forest continued to shrink. Bhabar and Tarai tracks have more area under forest than the plains. This plain has a dominance of sal and simal trees. The western rare area has shisham, babul, khair and simal. The middle Ganga plain has excessive felling of trees resulting in large scale deforestation in the region. The uncultivable tract have trees like bargad, people, imli, mahua, neem, babul, etc. In the lower Ganga plain, two types of natural vegetation are found. Tropical evergreen forests occur in the Dwar tract in the north. Sal and Shisham are the dominant varieties. Deciduous forests occur in the western part. Teak, Shisham, Bamboo, etc. are the main varieties. Five point one point five Population and Settlement The Ganga Plain occupies nine percent of the total area of the country and accommodates twenty three percent of the population of the country. The average density of the plain is nine hundred and thirty one persons per square kilometer. In the upper Ganga plain, more than one thousand persons per square kilometer is observed in many districts. Compact settlements are found in the Banga regions of the plain that have good facilities of irrigation and transport. Lucknow, Kanpur, Ghaziabad, Agra, Allahabad, Meerut are the main urban centers. Agra is a historical city. The Middle Ganga Plain is a densely populated region. Except the forested Tarai area, nearly 93% of the population is rural. The Bihar Plain has big and compact villages. The forested Tarai tract has dispersed settlements of small villages. Patna is the largest city of the region. Varanasi, Gorakhpur, Gaya, Bhagalpur, Muzaffarpur, Mirzapur, Katihar are other notable towns. Varanasi is a religious town in eastern Uttar Pradesh.
In the low Ganga plain, population is unevenly distributed. In the northern part, Siliguri has less than 400 persons per square kilometer. Near Kolkata and Howrah, population density is about 1000 persons. Kolkata, Howrah, Durgapur, Asansol, Siliguri, Bhatpara, Chadavpur, Burdwan, Rani Ganj, Kharagpur, etc. are the major towns of this region. Five point one point six Economic Development Agriculture The alluvial plain with adequate rainfall and enormous water resources has encouraged people to develop agriculture. Almost half of the area is sown more than once. Nearly 90% of the total crop area is under food crops. Mild winters and hot summers have enabled this region to grow a variety of crops which include wheat, gram, barley and oil seeds in winter and rice, maize, sugarcane, bajra and jawar in the rainy season. In the Ganga plain, agriculture is very prosperous. In Ganga Yamuna Dob, a large area is under cultivation. Wheat and rice are important food grains. Bajra, maize and jawar are also cropped. Pulses are grown in Rabi as well as Kharif seasons. Peas, Gram and Tur are important in the upper and middle Ganga Yamuna. Groundnut, sesam and mustard are dominant oil seeds in the plain. Sugarcane is the most important cash crop in the region. In Middle Ganga Plain, rice and wheat are the important crops followed by maize, oil seeds and sugarcane. In the Ganga Delta, rice and jute are the main crops. Other crops include sesam, mustard, groundnut, tobacco, etc. Since water is available in plenty, irrigation is widespread. In the upper Ganga Dope, canals are a major source of irrigation. The eastern Yamuna Canal, the upper middle and lower Ganga Canals are important means of irrigation. Tube wells are also important. In the middle Ganga, plain rainfall is irregular. North Bihar has less irrigation while South Bihar has a large area under irrigation. Canals in Southern Bihar and tube wells in North Bihar and Eastern Uttar Pradesh are major source of irrigation. Lower Ganga Plain has ample water at surface level. In the southern part, ponds and lakes are used for irrigation. Mining The eastern part of central Ganga Plain is rich in minerals. Coal occurs in Bhirbam, Burdwan and Bankura districts and iron ore is found in Damodar Valley region. Copper, mica, manganese, limestone and dolomite are found. In this plain, some mica occurs in Gaia district. Industries The Ganga plain is leading in agricultural production. 
Hence, industries here are mainly agro-based like sugar, oil seeds, rice, cotton, and jute mills, etc. Sugar industry is the most developed industry in the Upper Ganga Plain. Cotton textile mills are located at Kanpur, Rampur, Allahabad, and Agra. Woolen textiles are located at Rampur, Agra, Allahabad, Mirzapur. Jute mills are at Kanpur. Leather industry has flourished at Kanpur and Agra. Paper, agricultural equipments, bicycle, sports goods, copper and bronze utensils are notable industries of the region. The Middle Ganga Plain excels in cottage and small scale industries. Handloom industry is developed in Mirzapur, Gorakhpur, Varanasi and Patna. Sugar, food processing, rice, pulses and oil mills are developed in this region. Blanket and carpet industry is developed in Mirzapur, Bhadhoi and Varanasi. Jute mills are located at Gorakhpur and Samastipur. Silk saris are manufactured at Varanasi and Bhagalpur. Dalmianagar in South Bihar has emerged as a major center of cement, paper, paperboard and plywood. Barani has a petrochemical complex and a petrol refinery. Fertilizer industry is located at Barauni. In the Low Ganga Plain, the availability of coal, minerals, cheap and abundant labor, water resources and a huge market has helped the development of industries. Most of the industries are located in the Hooghly Valley and Asansal Durakpur region. Iron and steel industry is located at Kulti, Buranpur, Asansol and Durgapur. Jute mills are located along the banks of the Hooghly River. Cotton textile industry also has developed here. Chemical industry is concentrated in Kolkata and Howrah. Paper industry is concentrated in Kolkata, Titagad, Naihat and Triveni. Chitaranjan manufactures locomotives. Haldia has a petrochemical complex, an oil refinery and a fertilizer plant. Kolkata Hooghly Industrial Belt is the main industrial region in the northern Indian plains. Industries are widespread in plain regions and most of them are agro-based. Transportation The Ganga Plain has flat even land that is why it is very easy to construct roads and railways. Economically, this region is well developed due to agricultural activity. That is why transportation in this region is also well developed. This region has good railway network and it is connected to all the major cities of India. Lucknow, Agra, Patna and Faizabad are the major railway junctions. Many highways and major roads passes through this region. All parts of Ganga Plain are very well connected to each other. All major cities have facility of air transportation. 
5.2 Delta region Delta has the shape of a triangle. The Ganga Brahmaputra Delta is the world's largest delta. The Ganga Delta is also known as the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta or the Sundarbans. It extends in the West Bengal and Bangladesh. It is one of the most fertile regions in the world and is called the Green Delta. The Delta stretches from the Hooghly River to the Meghna River. It is approximately 350 kilometers wide at the Bay of Bengal. Kolkata and Haridia are the principal ports on the river banks in the Delta of India. Most of the delta is composed of alluvial soils made of small sediment particles that finally settle down as river slows down. Red and red-yellow laterite soils are also found in this region. The soil has large amount of minerals and nutrients, which are good for agriculture. This delta is composed of channels, swamps, lakes and floodplains. Moist deciduous forest is found in the delta region. Although the forests have mostly been cleared for agriculture, thick stands of tall grass known as cane breakers grow in wetter areas. The Sundarbans freshwater swamp forest lies closely to the Bay of Bengal. The Sundarbans mangroves form the world's largest mangrove ecoregion covering an area of 20,400 square kilometers. Trees found in the delta include Sundri, Garjan, Bamboo, etc. Animals in the delta include the Indian python, tiger, leopard, Indian elephant, and crocodiles which live in the Sundarbans. Large number of chetal are found in the Sundarbans part of the delta. Birds found in the delta include kingfishers, eagles and woodpeckers. Two species of dolphin are found in the delta. They are river dolphin and oceanic dolphin. A large number of people living in the delta, despite risk from floods caused by monsoon and heavy runoff from the melting snow of the Himalayas and tropical cyclones. Five point three Eastern Plain. This is the eastern continuation of the Great Plains of India. It is a well demarcated physical unit in the northern eastern part of India. The valley includes whole of Assam which is drained by the Brahmaputra river. This valley is formed by the Brahmaputra and its tributaries. The general elevation of the valley ranges from 130 meters in the east to 30 meters in the west. Geologically, the valley is formed by the deposition of alluvium which is about 1500 meters thick. 5.4 Natural Hazards and Environmental Problems Ganga Plain is frequently flooded but with torrential rainfall, river overflow and a large area gets flooded. Kosi River in Bihar has changed its course a number of times due to floods. Brahmaputra River is flooded every year, resulting in heavy loss of property and life. 
Salinity is another problem faced by farmers due to over-irrigation for sugarcane and other crops. Algae, loo, hot winds are common in May and June. The Assam Plain is prone to natural disasters with annual floods and frequent mild earthquakes. Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal region and Assam Plain have experienced mild earthquakes. Assam culture is traditionally a mixed culture due to the assimilation of ethnoculture groups in the past. There are many important traditional festivals in Assam. Bihu is the most important and commonly celebrated all over Assam. Durga Puja is another festival celebrated with great enthusiasm. Assam has a rich tradition of performing arts. At the same time, musical tradition is also rich. Folk songs and music related to Bihu and other festivals are very popular. The soil and climate of Assam Valley is most suitable for tea plantations. Tea plantations have flourished in Upper Assam. Today, Assam is a leading state in tea production in India. Assam Valley's biggest contribution to the world is tea. It produces some of the finest and expensive varieties of tea. High quality tea powder is being exported to Europe and USA. This valley also accounts for a fair share of Indian production of rice, mustard seed, jute, potato, sweet potato, banana, papaya, arachnid, sugar cane, and turmeric. It also is a home of large variety of citrus fruits, leafy vegetables, herbs, spices, etc. 45 languages are spoken by different communities. Assamese and Bengali are the major languages spoken in the region. Brahmaputra is the lifeline of Assam. The river with steep gorges in rapids in Arunachal Pradesh enters Assam with tributaries and creates a flood plain. The Assam Valley is 80 to 100 kilometers wide and about 1000 kilometers long. Assam is endowed with petroleum, natural gas, coal, limestone, and feldspar. This plain region experiences tropical monsoon climate with heavy rainfall and high humidity. Thunderstorms are frequent during afternoons. Assam is one of the richest biodiversity zones in the world. It consists of tropical rainforests, deciduous forests, riverine grasslands, bamboo orchards and numerous wetland ecosystems. The valley is also known for orchids. Many are now protected as national parks and reserved forests. Kaziranga is a national park for Indian rhinoceros and it is a world heritage site. The state is the last refuge for numerous other endangered species such as the Golden Langur, Wood Duck, Bengal Florican and Pigeon Hawk. Some other endangered species with significant population in Assam are the Tiger, Elephant and Gibbon. The White Wing Wood Duck is a state bird of Assam. The valley has the largest population of the wild water buffalo. This valley 
also has the highest diversity of birds in India.